Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite. And good morning, good afternoon, good night for everyone. We are going to record in English today. And um, I have uh, Nuno do Carmo and I have Fernando Monique here with me. And welcome, guys. And, um, Hi, George. Hey, Nuno. Hey, Fernando. Hi, George. And it's Thanks great to have us. you guys here. We're going to, Fernando is already ready here with um, uh, Windows 10 Home Edition to show for us. And Nuno, we can comment on that first part. And then our second part, we can give you control to, let's see if we can do in English what we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, we did in Portuguese, it was a longer one. Let's do like a short version, Fernando. So today I will show how to install the uh, Windows subsystem for Linux version 2. Uh, now the good news, it works on Windows Home. To work with that, we need to have a, the last version of Windows, the 2004. First of all, I will show, I will install the um, terminal here. That's an application that allows you to open side by side a PowerShell and several Linux distributions. Everyone in one time. So I will install it here. Fernando, in the meantime, Nuno, what do you think about the new terminal? Is a big thing coming in? Yes, uh, finally, let's say. Um, every time that we install since WSL1 or even before we had the terminal, so then Rich came, uh, Rich Turner came. Uh, revamped the terminal, the, the basic one, but now since uh, since what like it's one year, one year and a half now that they have this new terminal. That's yeah, we 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 finally getting let's say love <laughs> for shells. It's already <laughs> there. Look, he installed yeah, like look, in look. seconds. Yeah, and we can have PowerShell from command prompt, and soon we will have the Linux here. Mm. So the first step, we need to go to program and features. And here, a related setting, program and features. Uh, turn on Windows uh, features. We need to select the virtual machine platform and the Windows subsystem for Linux. Uh, Let's just what, yeah, just what we saw yesterday. Uh, if you want to use other virtual uh, virtualizations like VirtualBox, maybe in parallel in your Windows Home, you have also to enable the hypervisor platform. Just just a small uh, tip. Yes, how good. We will do a next video uh, showing that. Nice. Yeah, we, oh, I, Let's do another one later to explain that. It would be nice to show how we can you know, use multiple virtualizations now. Yes. And uh, it's a great idea to, to do And it will be very useful for Android developers because they can run the Android virtual machine in parallel with the Windows subsystem for Linux, right? Mm -hmm. So great. now I have my Windows is rebooting here. The next step, I need to install uh, the Linux kernel. And this is an interesting fact because this is the first time that Microsoft is releasing a Linux kernel. So let's download this WSL2 kernel. Uh, so this is great because uh, they can split now the kernel development that uh, Microsoft is doing like uh, for WSL, but also any big uh, update, they are pushing it upstream. So they are contributing totally like uh, a normal open source uh, party. And then we have this Windows 10 going up like, uh, uh, we don't need to have Windows 10 updated in the future, okay? To have a newest uh, kernel, which is really great. And you have already installed, that's like in seconds oh, as oh, well. Oh good, <laughs> this is seconds. Only download yeah, the package yeah. and install. Quick. Okay, next step, I need to set up the default version of the Windows subsystem for Linux. To do that, I use here a PowerShell, and I use this 
Yes, that was Halcom. Um, and set default version. It will allow uh, to install the Linux distro already on the version two. If you are a Ryzen user of Windows Linux subsystem version U, at the end of the video, I will show how to migrate your version. Okay, all good. Now I can go back to the Windows Star. I can see the Windows distributions we have available. Just because my internet is a little bit slow, I will start to install the latest Ubuntu now. We don't um, I think you just got the don't do that one. Don't do that one. Go back there. I think you got the wrong one. Yeah, 2004. 20, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's please Aiden for all his yes. job and Patrick. <laughs> By the way, great job they're doing, Aiden and the, the canonical guys and Patrick. They're doing a mm -hmm. great job. Yeah. Okay, I will consult the installation, the first one. All yep. right. And this is installing. Uh, we can see here, searching for Lin Linux, we have Ubuntu, Kalin, SUS, Debian. Fernando, I think uh, Nuno is the best one to talk about those distros, and he he, <laughs> he, he did in Portuguese yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so just, just just click on Show All near the 92, and yeah, so. What I was saying yesterday uh, during our chat was that we have official uh, distributions like Ubuntu, Debian, SUSE. Um, we do have official, let's say, oriented WSL distributions, which is the only one or the two only ones, but are the same team, our uh, Penguin teams. So it's the Federal Remix uh, and Penguin, of course. So these ones, bring something more it's not just the distribution but they come with installers they come with uh, uh, pre uh, package uh, x uh, window if you really need to go there but not today but let's say so they bring really more than just the simple uh, let's say uh, debian or fedora here and actually fedora is the only one here because they have like some yeah, mixes but anyway if you work with Linux, like this is my case, you save your day. When you have Penguin, you have every tools you need set, it, set up. So now exactly. the Ubuntu has arrived here. Let's configure it the, the first time. And while this is configuring, we can use this WSL command has like an help, dash help. And I will list. How and verbos WSL. Just to check what's running here. Yeah, so it's in the middle of registration. Uh, registration, sorry. Um, so that's normal that it will maybe take a time. Um, can you just go up? I'm not oh. sure. Do, oh, it yeah, okay, work. here we go. Ver here yeah, it's go. version 2. Okay, it's all right under version 2. And it's nice that's showing that it's installing. And it's showing, it's asking my username. Okay, I already have Linux. Voila, here. voila, yeah. Mm. We here have uh, Linux. On, on the terminal here. I think I need to yeah, close. Yeah, you have to close it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, reload. Now I have the Ubuntu here, and the Ubuntu is running side by side with my PowerShell. And just to show how powerful is this tool, I will go back here on the Windows Star, and I will install Author Distro. Mm -hmm. I will install the Alpine. That is the lightest distribution ever, just to be quick. So just one one important point. It's safe because it's on the store, but it's not the, done by the Alpine crew here. So it's not, let's say, official Alpine. OK, that's just important. That's We can trust it. Again, it's is on the this, store. This user, Angola. Yeah, right. exactly. 
exactly. But this is different when we we go like to the Ubuntu. We have here the user is canonical, so this is an official distro. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Uh, I think install it. Yeah, I, I myself I have Penguin for a long time, and I have uh, um, I have all the Ubuntu's, <laughs> and now <laughs> 2004. We're waiting for 2004 0, 20, 20, That will be the first you know fashion that will be mm -hmm. uh, stable. Let's say stable version will be a dot one, but we are almost there. Uh, now I'm initializing the Alpine here. Mm -hmm. The opinion is very quick, like a few seconds. Yeah, we, we are sharing video now. That's why. Yeah, so. <laughs> nice. Okay, now I have the opinion here. Hmm. I um, reload the terminal and I run side by side PowerShell. Ubuntu and uh, Alpine. And as a bonus, I will show you if you are using the version U one. And you can list our versions here. You see the version we are running. If you have any machine running on virtual one or even better, and Linux image, but this is actually a, a virtual machine, right? He used yeah, micro WSL dash dash set dash version. The name, for instance, the Alpine is already two just to, to show the Alpine and the version two. It will update this version. So this is the new Windows substation for Linux version two. Thanks for helping. That's great, that. uh, Nuno. And, great. Um, well done, Fernando. It was a great presentation. And any final comments for this short video that we're doing? Nuno? What do you think that would be the feature? How people can really use that? And no, it it brings like a, a really a Linux shell uh, into your Windows. Uh, as you can see here, it's not. Uh, we didn't mention it because it's a short video, but we can see that it's in Mount C users Azurtar. So it means that from the user space of Ubuntu here. Um, Fernando is actually in his own Windows home office, okay, home directory. See, there's a lot of uh, data from. Um, I from show Windows. here. So, uh, if I go here to the documents here, yeah, perfect. I have the text. Exactly. I just create. Here we go. So yeah. it's really uh, user space, Linux user space. Linux kernel behind the scenes. So there's few limitations today, but I think uh, uh, the team are addressing them. And um, yeah, so it will be it will be really, really nice. And yourself, what do you think? I, I love that, you know, I <laughs> have some bias on that, but I mean, I'm using since version one, since like the, the first ever preview. And uh, when I used to be a Microsoft MVP, I did a few presentations on that. It probably funny that Fernando was the first guy that came to me asking about you know my presentations on Windows Subsystem for Linux, and now he's presenting himself, and it was well nice. done presented. One more, one more for our club, you know, <laughs> presenting on this subject. And now he's like, he's have one game now. He's you know he's on the mainstream, and that's going to be on the Windows Server as well. And that's a mm -hmm. big thing, probably the next video for us. And um, if we're not using that, I don't think we can do that in another platform, have multiple distros, you know. And now I would say 2020 is like, you know, coronavirus, but it's also, <laughs> it's also the year to have uh, Linux on Windows, you know, and, um, yeah. and um, but thanks. Thank you for this yeah, short video great, and I hope Fernando. everyone enjoyed that. Thanks, Nuno yes. and Fernando. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you. So